let's take half of one fourth here on our ruler. So how do we think about that? So if you look at your ruler right here, we have zero to one, that's one inch. Here's half right here down the middle, that's half of it. And then half of that again, that's our one fourth. So we wanna know half of this one fourth, that's the distance right here, what's that gonna be? And you can see half of that is one eighth. So half of one fourth is one eighth. Another way to think about this is we have one part of four. So if we take half of one, we get 0 0.5 or one half, and we keep the four the same because we still have four pieces. We just took half of them. This is a little bit awkward. So what you could do is multiply this by two to get a whole number. You also have to multiply the denominator by two because two over two, just one. So we don't change the value just the way it's represented. 0 0.5 times two, that's just one four times two is eight, and again we get one eighth, and that's what we found before. Half of one fourth is one eighth. One last way you can do this, more the math way to do it. So we're dividing by two, so one half of one fourth is one fourth divided by two. But let's call it two over one. It's still two, we're just dividing by one. And instead of division, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. That means we move the two to the bottom and the one to the top. And we end up with one times one, that equals one, four times two, that equals eight, and we get one eighth again. So either way you do it, you're gonna end up with taking half of one fourth and you're gonna get one eighth. This is Dr. B, thanks for watching.